Hello you lovely people. So, I almost got attacked on the way home, and I know what you guys are thinking, Jake, why would such a big guy like you get attacked by somebody? And, see, this was my thought, because, you know, I'm quite a tall guy, and this guy was quite short, to say the least, and um, I don't know what his problem was. I was walking, um, he was walking, obviously I was taking up too much of the path for his liking, so he decided to invade my personal space, and by that I mean go completely out of his way. I don't think he was even meant to be walking this direction. He went completely out of his way to stand in front of me. So this scared me quite a lot because the guy himself was, you know, small but built and had sunglasses. He looked like one of those guys you want to punch in the face. You know what I mean? But you're not going to punch him in the face because he probably has like a gun in his back pocket. So as we got closer, I decided in my head, oh, it'd be funny to make, you know, some kind of joke out of this because that's what I do. So I imagined, you know, like uh, Crime Watch and stuff where they do the little reconstruction thing that comes up in the top corner. In my mind, my view now had like a reconstruction thing there. And I was like looking around, I was looking at the trees like they always do. And I was looking at the guy and I was looking at the floor and I was like, you know, being really quizzical and breathing heavily. And because of this, I don't know why, I think it was probably because I was nervous, I just started laughing. I just started laughing really, really hard. Like, super hard. And because when I laugh hard, it goes like really maniacal, if that's even a word. And I swear, his course, he was coming towards me and he just went, uh, nope, not today. He must have thought I was the biggest psychopath ever to walk those roads. So from near death experiences to just plain awkward situations. The other day I was at someone's house and yeah, they were a girl, but we're not going out or anything, don't worry. Don't worry fangirls. I say that like I actually have fans that are girls. So the mum comes in and I'm like, oof, better break out some of my smooth moves to win her over in case I ever marry her daughter or something. But she asked me what I did at the weekend and I said, oh, I went to Pizza Express. Now this isn't exactly true, because we were gonna go to Pizza Express, don't get me wrong, we were gonna go, but then my younger brother was ill, so we just ordered him fish and chips instead. So I, th I thought nothing of it. I was like, okay, so she won't know, she won't stalk me to Pizza Express or anything. So I just kept the conversation going. See, this is all good until my dad came to pick me up. You know those awkward things that parents do when they uh, try and talk to each other, but they don't really know each other, and I'm just stood there smiling awkwardly at the girl? Um, they were trying to do that, and the mum, I don't blame her, thought it'd be good to, you know, like, bring in a bit of information she got off me during the day. So she was like, oh, you've been celebrating people's birthdays. And at that point, I was just cringing. I was cringing so hard, it was unbelievable, because I knew what was happening, and I could do nothing to stop it. See, what I contemplated at that point was um, pretending that I had just been stung by a bee, and just screaming my head off until they decided to leave because I was allergic to bees and I was just like, Dad, I haven't got my EpiPen, can we go home please? In hindsight, that would have been better than what I did, which was literally terrible. And I apologise to the girl who's probably watching this at the moment. And then my dad went, what pizza? And I was just sinking, I was deflating into the ground. And then her mum was like, oh, you know, the Pizza Express you went to, Jake was telling me all about it. And then I went for the, yeah, Dad, why don't you tell her all about it? Wink kick and he d obviously didn't take the hint because he's my dad and that's what he does so he kept going no pretty sure we have fish and chips so i was like no dad don't you remember we went to we went to pizza express and then i made up some kind of anecdote that i told him at the restaurant i was like dad don't you remember the the football we talked about that if anything that made it worse because my dad was like oh yeah that no no it didn't happen so I was just stood there awkwardly, and I kept, I was just like, lie, 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 let's just hold this lie out, because it was getting so awkward. People were just like, looking at each other awkwardly, people at the street were stopping and taking pictures, at how awkward it was, TV crew turned up and started filming the awkwardness, and eventually, thank goodness, my dad was just like, hmm, maybe we did go to Pizza Express, maybe I'm getting a bit senile, and at that point, I ran for the car. You would not believe how quickly I ran. I was just like, thanks, bye. Ran full on into the car. Not like into it. That would have broken the car. Um, just into the car, drove away. Thank goodness I will never have to see her again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you feel uh, it's needed. Please subscribe if you feel necessary and leave a comment about your near-death experience and I will love reading them. Uh, have a nice day and I will see you next time.